Hello and welcome to the Bay Pay Forum's daily news podcast. I'm Lisa, here to bring you the latest in payments and fintech. This episode is proudly sponsored by Paycademy.com, your leading online resource for learning about the payments and fintech industry, anytime, anywhere, with over 220 courses at your fingertips. Let's dive into today's top stories. Multitude Bank expands footprint with stake acquisition in Lee Bank. Multitude has announced that its subsidiary, Multitude Bank, has acquired a 9.9% stake in Lee Bank ASA, a digital bank focused on consumer financing in the Nordic countries and Spain. Grasshopper Bancorp to acquire Auto Club Trust. Grasshopper Bancorp and Auto Club Trust have announced that they have entered into a definite merger agreement, expected to close in the first half of 2025. TBI Bank launches its technology hub in Turkey. TBI Bank has revealed plans to launch its own tech hub, aimed at developing and integrating its services while broadening access to the international market. OB Connect implements the confirmation of payee ecosystem. New Zealand Banking Association has selected OB Connect, an open banking provider to deliver confirmation of payee ecosystem. Lemon partners with Shawbrook Bank to deliver SaaS offerings. SaaS finance gateway Lemon has announced its partnership with Shawbrook Bank to deliver a secure and efficient SaaS financial product to its vendors and SMB customers. Banked acquires Australian fintech WAV. Pay by Bank provider Banked has announced the acquisition of Australian payment technology firm WAV, establishing a partnership with Chemist Warehouse as well. Lakeside Bank partners with Volante Technologies for real-time payments. Lakeside Bank has announced its partnership with Volante Technologies in order to add secure and efficient real-time payments and optimize swift processing. Freedom Pay teams up with Stripe to optimize how enterprises unify commerce. Data-driven commerce platform Freedom Pay has entered into a collaborative agreement with Stripe to support enterprises in unifying commerce. BISM introduces BISM Pay. BISM has launched BISM Pay, a new contactless payment solution utilizing NFC technology. Vodafone and Sumitomo Corporation partner with MasterCard. Vodafone, together with Sumitomo Corporation, S Economy of Things Business, has partnered with MasterCard to enable operators to further advance the economy of things, EOT. Kushki and PXP Financial to support the gaming sector in LATAM. Paytech company Kushki has announced its plans to further scale the gaming industry in Latin America, with the company partnering with PXP Financial to offer payment solutions across the region. Capital One launches AirKey Authentication Technology. Capital One has launched AirKey, an authentication technology designed to help financial institutions improve fraud prevention. EPC releases the first version of the VOP Scheme Rulebook. The European Payments Council, EPC, has announced the launch of the first version of the Verification of Payee, VOP, Scheme Rulebook developed to minimize fraud and increase trust in payments. Alaska Airlines selects SIFT to mitigate fraud and manage chargeback disputes. SIFT, an AI fraud protection platform that secures digital trust, has been selected by Alaska Airlines to mitigate payment fraud and manage chargeback disputes, while optimizing the customer experience. City and MasterCard team on cross-border debit card payments. City is working with MasterCard to enable clients to make real-time cross-border payments to debit cards. Banked buys Australian A2A payments outfit WAV. London-based account-to-account payments provider Banked has gained a foothold in the Australian market through the acquisition of local player WAV. Financial terms were not disclosed. Sustainable Finance Live. Regulations driving sustainable transactions. Regulation and policy can be an important step sustainable transactions at a global level. There are many different perspectives on how to help implement these regulations within the financial services, which this sustainable finance live session covered. UK fintechs have an overall positive impact on the country, innovate finance. The Fintech Impact Report 2024 reports that the UK fintech sector has improved financial inclusion and sustainable initiatives across the country. Ex-UBS boss Hammers joins AI wealth management startup Arda Finance. Former UBS chief executive Ralph Hammers has become an external senior advisor for Arda Finance, an AI-based digital wealth management startup founded by former Google executives. No friction partners with Calc Risk for Dora Compliance. 
embedded banking company No Friction has entered into a collaborative agreement with CalcRisk to ensure compliance with the EU's Digital Operational Resilience Act, DORA. Sustainable Finance Live Environmental sector isn't investable or professional yet. Dr. Rich Stockdale, founder of Oxygen Conservation, gave the closing keynote of Sustainable Finance Live 2024, looking into how the investment into natural capital can evolve in the future. Imagining a world without cards. We are likely to be making payments on existing card rails for the foreseeable future, given their popularity and the attendant benefits of incentives and security. Thank you for joining us for today's coverage. Remember, you can delve deeper into any story we discussed today by visiting our news section at baypayforum.com. We're here every day, bringing you the critical insights and latest trends across the payments and fintech landscape. Until next time, I'm Lisa, thanking you for watching and inviting you to join us again tomorrow for more updates. Stay informed, stay ahead.